What's up guys, welcome back to another drawing tutorial. Today we're going to be doing Death Core of Krieg from Warhammer 40k. This is a Patreon request from Dave. So, Imperial Guardsman Death Core of Krieg, or uh, I don't know if I'm saying that correctly. So, he sent me this image. It's pretty cool. He said I could use any one, but this is probably one of the better images, which is probably why he sent it to me. So, let's try this. So, landscape page, pencil eraser, hit pause if. I go too fast. Sometimes I do, so apologize about that. But time is precious. So his helmet, I would say up here, right? Top half of the page, quite small. Might have to zoom in, right? So we'll go around the top of his head to get us started. Let's see, starting here. And we'll just curve it across. Right. Okay, and then it comes down the side. Typically, it's kind of looks like a German, you know, Nazi kind of helmet. So it goes down this way. So like this side will be higher up than this side. And this kind of goes back around the back of his neck and curves that way. It kind of disappears behind his jacket lapel just there. And this one will disappear around the head. And so it's got like this base section goes around the back of the head there. And like the breathing apparatus comes out this way. So this one curves around here. Forgive me now, but I got different markers and I'm trying to get used to them. It's funny, like permanent markers, you know, you would think they're all the same, but they're not. <laughs> That's annoying. So this goes up that way. I think it's like an extra rim sort of line. All right, that just makes everything look a little bit three dimensional. Right. And then the top of the helmet kind of it's like a bell. Like it curves up this way. And then this side curves up there. And then it goes around the tippy top. And then down the back. And it's got like a little thing on top. Like a vent or something. It's got like a hole in it here. Color black. Okay. So there is um, like an eagle symbol on the helmet. I will draw the general shape. Not great at doing little like crazy details like this. But if you're looking for like a super close up on this, you can get it online so it looks like just like eagle heads but could be wrong because it's kind of blurry when I zoom in nice and then the feet right there and maybe we'll just do some lines on the wings Of course, you, you could do a better job at this if you got more detail imagery. Okay. So, he's got this gas mask on, right? So it like bumps down around here, on the inside of his head. Okay. And the middle line there. And then his eyes. Right, and then curving around here. And then the inside orange section. Right. 
there and I think they've got like a little three-dimensional edge sort of there maybe maybe something here so then metal plate there and this metal seems to curve around the mouth area Do, do, do. Little edge line there, and like some metal studs or something. And then this all like curves down. These fabric folds make these bumpy sort of lines like that. Now, so. This is like a big elephant's tusk that goes down behind his weapon. So, like a pipe going down that way. And it's gonna be coming across this. There somewhere. Nice. And then we got like some Extra details on these pipes. Just carving around. Okay. So, weapon goes this way. So I'll draw the back of it and then we'll try and get this hand in, right? So. Let's go here, down, around, down that way, goes in, up, kind of make it a bit three dimensional or attempt to, there, and it's got like a circle. And then like there's another little raised up bit so that goes that way and then there's a raised up section here Okay, and then this goes that way, right? This is like the wooden handle. So then right at the end of the butt of this gun, he's got his shoulder pad, right? So it'll go and sort of around here. And it's got like a double, right? So it goes down into the gun here, and then there's another part. Quite common in shoulder pad gear. Like so. And then the lapel of his jacket kind of just like comes down across the cheek here. And it goes out the other side. Then here. And then he has a backpack on. And then there's like studs. And there's like a lightning, no, I think it's a three. So we'll just do our best with this now.
So third division or something, obviously. scratches and textures and stuff and all that now so LD bone or elbow is it's actually called um, comes out this way and around for that arm fabric like heavy green looks like felted fabric there and sleeve and armpit. Area all there. Okay. So hand holding the wooden part of the gun, right? The rifle. So this is the butt of it. Hand in there. Another bit of shoulder pad coming down this way, like another metal shoulder pad on the other side. Is there a strap there or something? Maybe there is. Right. What do we do? Right, we'll get we'll get the body finished back here. So he's got like some pouches on his belt, right? So I always think of the Naruto pouches they have on their uniform when I'm drawing pouches. But that's just me. It's like these little bags on his belt. And then we got like a big belt buckle here and this will go under the butt of his gun. Somewhere in there right so i'll just leave that sort of unfinished for a second because we gotta get the gun in uh, but the jacket a top waistcoat jacket maybe so like it seems like there's a like two jacket sections one there and then a real long one that goes down that way and then buttons like putting these sort of things off buttons can help and then where it's closed just that way and then it's the other side of his body's like here somewhere and another button there right so now the gun And his hand, right? So in here we got a hand. So the thumb sort of sits across the gun here. These curving up and down lines, right? A little trick just for fingers is you have three sections and they kind of curve down and up. I don't know if you could see that. Kind of up to a knuckle, down and up to a knuckle, down and up to a knuckle. Okay, so his hand then comes out here, and each of these would be a finger and a knuckle, and this finger seems to extend a bit further, sort of around here. And these sort of leather glove sort of lines. So can't see the trigger. I think the trigger section's up near the top. 
Is it? Is that what that is? Hmm. Okay, well. Like there's like a circle thing here. So we'll go curving. Let's go curving and then this circles around, right? There, and it has like a bit of an edge line or something to it. And then it goes like straight down. Here to the weapon clip. That goes in, down to there. It's like a three dimensional. There's like a skull. So, well, I'll finish this sort of shape here first. Right, and then this goes down to there. There's like another little loop here. Right, and then we got like another circle here. Another square, down, up, into here, and then there's like another eagle insignia thing. Right, and then this comes up. And these things are always tricky. Guns. Do, do, do. There. Circle. Edge. And then circle with a skull inside. studs, scratches and stuff and textures of course all over metal things always helps us. Okay so I'll just finish this belt buckle in here. You can't see any jacket lines in here but there probably should be maybe. Heavily shadowed up in there. So, barrel of the gun then. So it's kind of comes down here. Curve lines on this. So we have another hand then. So we'll just keep going down this. Basically a pipe with some clips on it, right? So it joins another pipe, which goes behind his finger, but I'll go here with this. And there's something that joins them together, like a figure eight sort of shape wrapped around it. Like that, right? And his hand, there's another hand here, so we gotta deal with that. Um, and then this goes up that way. I missed actually a thing here. And then but this pipe continues. Then it has a wider muzzle on the end. Like a dark section in there. Okay, so that's where bullets come out. And he's got like a knife sticking out here. Let me go off my page a little bit there. It goes quite long. OK. 
Okay. So, I think we can see the trigger then. And then his glove, am I right? So, I think it's very dark in, in this part, so I'm not really sure. So we'll go, I'm imagining this is the trigger section of the gun. Like a certain shape here, but I'm not sure. And then his hand sort of just comes out from here, and then we have fingers. Right, and then the next finger. one kind of lower it's like another section of the gun here and I guess we should see like some of his sleeve this this sort of thing hanging down here but it's not entirely visible because it's dark shadow in there right. fingers and then scratches and stuff scratches on his helmet I think that's it guns are always tricky mechanical objects hope it's helpful Thanks for the request on Patreon, Dave. Anyone else with specific requests, you can head over to Patreon. It's just a way of getting requests to me, basically. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one. Bye.